Hey everyone, Shane here from the Spirit of the Cosmos. Thank you for joining me today for this video. And yes, this is my real hair, but that's not what we're here for. We're here today for this video about advanced ET or extraterrestrial civilizations and societies versus humanity, what we have here. I'm excited, you're excited, everyone's excited. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and give me a like, leave me a comment, show some love, share some love. I appreciate it, that support. And wow, we're gonna get right into it. So, highly advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, they're all over the universe. I've been studying ET sciences for a long, long time, and that is the golden rule with the universe. There is life everywhere, just like this forest behind me. There's life on life on life, it's everywhere in the cosmos. So what are some of these advanced civilizations like? Well, I'm going to do a comparison. I have a little comparison, a little chart thing I did. And yes, my handwriting. Ooh. Anyway, in advanced ET societies, there's a sense of oneness versus what we have here, which is separation. In advanced societies, they have global unity instead of what we have here, which is a bunch of countries separated by invisible borders, pretending like they're their own sovereign units when we're all together on the same planet. In advanced ET societies, there's one people, one unity, one world. Whereas on Earth, we like to pretend that we're all different groups of people and it doesn't get us anywhere. That is why we are closed off from the universe, why we cannot explore the stars. We are under a quarantine until we get our act together. And part of that is oneness, is unity, is realizing in order for you to venture out into space and explore the universe, you have to be at a certain level of connection, a certain level of spiritual maturity before you just let out. So that's one difference. Oneness and unity versus what we have, separation and division. Down to where a lot of people don't even know their neighbors. And that's just... That's wrong. That feels wrong on many levels. In advanced ET societies, they have big emphasis on the environment and the health of their planet, of their world, of their people. Harming one's physical body with bad habits or bad foods, none of that makes any sense to them. That is an alien concept. Bad habits, bad foods, not taking care of oneself, not realizing that the body is a temple to the soul. All of that does not exist in advanced ET societies, but it is huge on Earth. In fact, we're the only species that actually pays to live, and that makes no sense. We indulge and support bad habits. We advertise bad habits. We advertise crummy ways to live, and this has a detrimental effect on our health, as we see with the COVID-19 virus that is just ransacking the world. That is caused by that by the incorrect thinking, and I'm gonna go over that. And in ET advanced societies, they operate out of unconditional love of everyone, of everything. They recognize everything and everyone as a part of the beautiful, divine, perfect, infinite creation that we're a part of. But on Earth, there's just catches to everything. How many times in life have you just been betrayed by someone or you put your trust in something and it falls apart. There just seems to be catches on everything. That does not exist in the advanced CT society. Something to think about. Probably because they're on a telepathic scale. When you are a telepathic society, which is a natural process in, in societal and sentient species evolution is to develop a global telepathy. That's part of our brain, that 90% we don't use, that's what that is, unlock potential. But part of that telepathy is the truth's always out. You can't really reveal, I'm sorry, you can't conceal rather or hide truth from people, it's there. And that is a big part of why these advanced ET societies have evolved and moved past to where we currently stand as a civilization. But let's move on to government. What are some differences between government and advanced ET societies versus what we have on Earth? Well, and a lot of you will go, yeah, and cheer. And leave me a comment what you think, please. I love the comments. There is very little need or want for government in advanced societies. It is a nonsensical form of control that no one recognizes. You don't need government. 
unlike here on earth where government is in everything you can't even own land without property taxes in many countries do you really own anything are you really part of anything no we are saturated on earth by ineffective leaders as we're seeing with the global pandemic and the chaos going around the world our governments are truly like the wizard of odds there's nothing behind the magic and the smoke and the illusion there's nothing there but someone throwing levers and they're not even really good at it in advanced et societies freedom is recognized as every soul's birthright we live in a loving breathing living universe where one of the universal laws is total free will as a birthright for all souls advanced et societies they get this they implement this and here on earth not really free will is more manipulated and everyone's sort of herded and cornered into a paradigm of living that's changing and it's changing very fast i might add no in advanced et societies they may have a council to help guide people or to offer insight on things or issues or anything but people's birthright, their freedom, their sovereignty is respected and loved more than anything. And when everyone is treated equally, when everyone is treated with unconditional love, when everyone is shown that they are important and an integral part of the universe, or you wouldn't be here. When everyone's treated like this, you don't need government. Thomas Jefferson said, the purpose of government was to keep men from harming one another. Government was, eventually, was is really designed to be a very minimalist and effective system for the people by the people. But now it's turned into just a giant cash cow around the world for many, many countries. So there's a difference between advanced societies and ours. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Ooh, problems and solutions. <clears throat> In advanced ET societies, they have telepathy, they have a connection, and they truly know and understand that when one person suffers, everyone suffers. Advanced ET societies and civilizations, they don't ignore problems, and they always have solutions. Instead of humanity, where we ignore solutions and always have problems. That is nonsense. The global crisis of food shortage right now the glowing, the, the growing rather, homeless crisis, especially in the United States, the growing inequality of the have and have nots, these problems, pollution, diseases, they keep adding up because we ignore them. In advanced ET societies, they don't ignore problems because everyone feels when everyone, everyone feels everyone. Everyone knows what's going on and they have a deep telepathic connection, not to just each other, but to nature and the planet itself so problems get solved really quickly unlike here where we like to just look the other way hmm. we're not more primitive than they are than the advanced societies we're just i guess the proper word would be very childish in comparison in advanced et societies when you need help when you need something you don't pay to live you don't pay to play you don't pay to win like humanity has somehow designed our paradigm to be where you have money or you don't no when you need help in advanced et societies you get it because everyone feels it here if you got cash you can get anything you want and that's bad that's a that's childish as well and immature on a spiritual level and there's immense focus in advanced et societies they come together they don't ignore one another. There's no, you're over there, I'm over here. No, everyone is part of this world, part of this people. They come together. There's immense focus. But in, on Earth and in humanity's world, we live in a sea of distractions. It's amazing any of us can get through a single day, much less focus on any global problems. We are distracted to the point where a lot of ETs that study humanity actually wonder how we do not go insane living here. And that is a valid question. Um, I guess we're just tough cookies. <clears throat> but the human spirit cannot be broken. 
That's one thing we got. The human spirit is indestructible. It's part of divine creation. It's part of love. Most people are good. So we got that advantage. And we're moving out of this nonsense of 3D human, this human paradigm stuff. Because now that we share and we're open to this thing, open to all this, you don't have a choice. It's that why would you not want better? So it's coming. So yeah, we float in a sea of distractions. It's really amazing. Amazing how we each of us makes it through the day, you know. Wow, something to think about. Leave me a comment down below if that resonates with you, if any of this does. But what do you think about the sea of distractions we live in? It's like a non-stop circus. It's, it's really amazing all of us keep our sanity, you know. Moving on to health. What is the difference between advanced ET societies and civilizations and humanity when it comes to health? This is a big one now, especially with everything going on. And like I said, the rising homeless populations, malnutrition's on the rise. We got a lot of issues we got to work out. So how does that tie into health? ETs, advanced ETs, have a profound understanding of true health and what life is itself. They realize that life loves to serve itself and that we all, all, all of us are part of love, unconditional divine love. We act when symptoms appear. So there's a difference there. ETs are aware of true health and true living and how to prevent disease. While we only prevent disease by treating the, the symptoms, which isn't preventing anything, we like to cover everything up, put a pill on it, sweep it under the rug and just hope for the best and it's not working. I have learned in a lot of ET channelings and science studies of how they work, how they function, that disease is actually caused by incorrect thinking. And this is something humanity does not appreciate. Like I said, we advertise support and brag about bad habits. It's all over the place. But in advanced CT societies, they would never think or dream of such a thing. Disease is caused by incorrect thinking. I love it. We blame disease on uncontrollable outside influences. In advanced societies with ETs, they live in a pollution-free world and there's total emphasis on the mind, body, and spirit. We live in a world of poison. Humanity lives in a world in a cloud of poison. The water is poisoned, the air is poisoned, the food, the processed foods, all this stuff we're fed, the sugars, all this is poison. I'm breathing in poison now even though I'm in nature. It is everywhere. This is probably why, a good bit why at least, why advanced ETs live hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, which people did in the Bible back way back then if you notice the bible and many religious texts mention of people living a long long time but in today's world in this cloud of poison we live in you're lucky to make it to 70 in good health and that really hurts that hurts right here it really hurts but ets eat living breathing loving foods full of life energies they eat they don't eat animals. They don't eat the body parts and the decaying flesh of things. That's what meat is. And to each their own. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not going to sit up here and I'm holier than thou art. No. You eat what you want. But these are just things to think about. Living, breathing, healthy foods. Plant-based or whatever they have. But definitely not animals. And especially not the way we as human beings process meat and treat animals. Definitely not. You got to remember when you eat meat, if you're not sure where it comes from, it probably came from a very terrible place and all those terrible negative energies have gone into that. So just keep that in mind. You want living, breathing, healthy, alive foods to make you feel better. I have not eaten meat in a long time. Big difference. And also the easiest weight loss. I don't know how. Quit eating meat the weight comes off and like I said they live ETs live for a long long time and like you said we're like I said we're lucky to make 70 so something to think about moving on to daily life what is daily life like in advanced ET societies and civilizations versus what we have well there's emphasis on the growth and expansion of each person your uniqueness is all you have to offer 
to your world in advanced societies. And that's all you need to do is be unique, be yourself. That is a treasure. Their treasure, their wealth comes from their culture, from their uniqueness, from the sharing of everyone's talents and beauty. Just, it, it really makes your heart beat. Uniqueness is nurtured in advanced societies. But on Earth, very few people live as gods. We have that 1%. We have that 1% of people who live amazing and they get to express their uniqueness and be whoever they want. But the, the rest, the 99%, don't get that chance. It's very unfair. Our world today is based on have and have not to the point where you have a very small group of super rich elite and the rest of us barely scraping by. In ET societies, you don't have that. It is very unheard of for a select group of people to live better than anyone else. Everyone's equal. Everyone is a rock star. Everyone lives like a billionaire. Some people might roll their eyes at this and think, Shane, you're just making stuff up or you're just wishful thinking or living in a fantasy. No. You're the one living in a fantasy if you truly think that humanity's got the answers to, way, to the way life is. No, I promise you we don't. We are very far behind. It's almost embarrassing. Life is lived daily in advanced ET worlds and societies. We as a people, a lot of us just live for the weekend. And that's sad too. What do you do with most of your life? Where do you give most of your life away? And all of us have something in life that takes from us that we'd rather not do. But that's just part of the human experience. But in their worlds, every day is lived to the fullest of your potential. Imagine that. Imagine what you could accomplish. Here, uniqueness is often shamed and judged. And I, this is what I say about that. Who is anyone to judge anyone else? No one here. I mean, come on. No one here is better or worse than anyone else. We're all in this together. And as light workers, that's what we need to get. That I'm here, you're there. I'm over here, you're over there. I'm better, you're lower. All that needs to go. That's not how advanced societies think. Everyone's just equal. Because everyone's unique. Everyone is a multifaceted, multidimensional soul of trillions and trillions of complex uniquenesses and differences. See? There's a lot of power in that. Wow. Makes me want to go steal a spaceship and get out of here. And then finally, the last section, because I'm just carrying on, aren't I? I love it, though. Technology. What is the difference between advanced interstellar? Well, yeah advanced ET societies and humanity. Well, they have inter interstellar and transdimensional tech, meaning they can travel long distances in space in a very short amount of time. I've calculated quickly, Pleiadians travel their average speeds around 61 light years an hour. Imagine going that fast. Don't put your head out the window. Ooh. But, wow. <clears throat> we have rockets. <laughs> They have ships that can travel vast distances that are just, we can't even calculate. And we have rockets, really. Where do you think a rocket is gonna get you? That's why I don't understand why so much time, money, and research is poured into rocket technology. It's, it's embarrassing. I think they laugh at us, but whatever, teach their own. And I think it's just more distractions and confusion to keep us from achieving our true goal. Wow, ET Tech, they have an infinite, amount of energy that they draw from the infinite nature of the universe. So, infinite abundance, infinite everything, no wants, no needs. In fact, when you tap, when you tap into infinity and the true infinite nature of the cosmos, you don't have many needs or wants because everything you could ever desire just comes. Here we use fossil fuels. Here we have a finite, that finite mentality that everything runs out that everyone's got to grab what you can, when you can. Don't worry about the future generations. All that's nonsense and it's got to stop. It does not occur on advanced ET worlds. Yet, they have technology that can provide anything you want. We do too, but as long as it's a distraction and that's wrong. So there you go, my friends. Wow. Just, this is something you could talk about for days and days, but the, difference between, the differences between advanced ET societies and our own as, human, as humans. Wow, the differences. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a like. Share this video if you like it. 
What do you think? How do you compare us? Where do we stand in your opinion versus these advanced societies? What is your experience with extraterrestrial contact, sciences, studying this stuff? Please let me know. Much love to each and every one of you. The love and light in me is a reflection of the love and light within you. We are awesome. We are light workers. We are bringing the 5D to Earth so that we can have humanity live within an advanced civilization. Mm. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching The Spirit of the Cosmos. And I'll see you in the next video.